welcome back NYC fragrance family got you another video got you there you thought I was gonna say Joe with another video didn't you anyway this video is you know I did one about alternatives I do them on occasion I did a Zerzhoff Lyra alternatives video I did a Creed of Aventus alternatives video I did a Chanel Egoise Platinum alternatives video today if you saw the thumbnail you saw the title of the video you know what this one's about Tuscan leather alternatives you know it's another one of those DNAs like Aventus Baccarat Rouge 540 which I might do one of those as well because I have a few of those alternatives that gets replicated a lot it's a Hall of Fame fragrance let's put it that way if there is a fragrance Hall of Fame which I believe there is somewhere Tuscan leather is definitely one that was a DNA that started a revolution to some degree you know of other fragrances and other brands trying to emulate that scent and they make their own twist on it and I have here today four fragrances that I have that are alternatives to Tuscan leather so the first one to talk to you about got recently in was actually sent to me by the company from Journal Parfums to hear leather now, I recently did a review on this one, so you can check that out if you want to know more about it. But this is a great twist on Tuscan leather, and twist is funny because the bottle has a twist. The fragrance itself, to me, lasts longer than Tuscan leather, smells somewhat better than Tuscan leather because it smells like it. It has something more to it that makes me want to like it more. I don't know what it is, I don't know what does it, but it just does. It's like an uplifting smile on my face when I spray it on. I really enjoy the fragrance. Let me spray it right now. Yeah, man, it's it's good. And the price point, I think it's around $30. You can't beat it. The Here Leather from Junaide Parfums. Hope I'm pronouncing that name right, because, you know, my pronunciation when it comes to, an, to something Arabic is probably not near 100%. The next one, another brand from the Middle East, you've probably heard of them. They make a lot of fragrances that are inspired by other fragrances. And this one from the house of Al Haramain is U36 Elixir. U36 Elixir, again, this amps up the raspberry note for me. It makes a sweeter alternative to Tuscan leather. And the cap I just love this bottle this one was a limited run they don't make that many of the elixir but if you're looking for a Tuscan leather alternative or something like Tuscan leather you can just get the U36 it doesn't have to be the elixir the elixir like I said amps up the sweetness in the fragrance whereas U36 is pretty much a copy for copy or inspiration for inspiration fragrance by Al Haramain. The bottle is almost identical if I remember correctly. They also have a Nui version, but I don't think that one is as much like Tuscan leather as the original U36 is and Elixir. The next one is actually like a blend inspiration. So here you get Tuscan leather and you get Creed's Aventus, which I think is phenomenal. I think it's a great combination and it gets some compliments for sure couple of times I've worn it it's a compliment getter from the house of Alexandria Tuscan King and if you look at the bottle it's a small bottle but you see I've hit this bottle it is a fragrance that I think gets underappreciated the combination of Aventus and Tuscan leather just works perfectly I don't know if it's because of that birch note but something it adds like a smoky nuance to Tuscan leather and then that juicy pineapple in there just gives it something different. This one is one not to be missed if you like both of those fragrances. It is, it just works great. And it's an Alexandria which it lasts long, performs well. So for those of you concerned about performance, fantastic. And so far, all three of the fragrances I spoke about are all excellent performing fragrances. The next one here, I've talked about it before on my channel, it's been on lists. It is just Tuscan leather done to perfection, brought up to another level. Pure, clean, simple, elegant. From Ioko 1954, I Egocentric. 
is an Italian brand that took Tuscan leather and just elevated it. This fragrance is phenomenal. It is the most expensive one I'm giving you on the list, but if you're looking for a niche version, a very good, well-blended niche version of Tuscan leather, this is the one you have to get. This is the one you have to smell. That's all I'm gonna say. So, new viewers, I hope you came by, watched the video, and took something away from this. New subscribers, thank you for joining the NYC Fragrances family. And my loyal subscribers, NYC Fragrance family, the bottom of my heart, I appreciate everything you do, and I hope this video, video brought you some value as well. And until the next time, remember, if you smell good, you feel good. Have a nice day. Thank you.